Do you guys remember the uh, major scale? The, uh, you know, the start whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half thing? Well, we are going to, uh, we are going to, uh, huh, this seems smaller than usual. Uh, uh, we're going to look at the major scale a little bit more closely using baseball. There are seven scale steps in the major scale and they are as follows. Tonic, supertonic, mediant, subdominant, dominant, submediant, and leading tone. We use these scale steps to form melody, harmony, and bass lines, but we have to know how to use them correctly. There are certain rules when it comes to Western music, and before you break the rules, you have to know how to use them. Tonic is our home tone, or home plate. It's where we usually start melodies, harmonies, and bass lines. Everything comes back to home plate. So no matter where you are in scale steps, you are always trying to get home. The next most important tone is the dominant, which is first bass. It's five notes higher or four notes lower than the tonic. It is what we call perfect fifth, but uh, more about that later. The dominant is hugely important in harmony from moving from the one to the five chord and five chord to the one chord, and in bass lines, and of course you'll sing uh, the dominant in harmonies and in melodies. Second bass is the subdominant or the fourth note up from tonic. In harmony, we call it the four chord. It's also the major player used in harmonies, melodies, and bass lines. And just like baseball, we can move back and forth from the five and the four. Um, just keep your eye on the pitcher if you want to steal second. And as always, the four can always go back to tonic. Everything can. Then we have third bass. Third bass is our leading tone. This one doesn't do much for us in harmony department, but it is great in the melody and bass line side of things. It always wants to steal home and go to tonic. The leading tone leads our ears to need to hear a resolution or hear, a, hear the sequence of things going back to home plate or going to tonic. The leading tone always wants to lead us to tonic. So we have tonic as our home plate, and then we go to five as our first important tone, and then four, and then seven. Now, what about six, three, and two? I would say two is probably our short stop. It is really important in melodies and harmonies, especially in jazz and pop music. Six and three are important players and are used, um, but they are there to support the one, four, and five. In fact, if you end an inning or a song on a six, it is what we call a deceptive cadence. It um, kind of takes us by surprise, and it, it still sounds good, but it's definitely what we weren't expecting. So you should try it sometime. Instead of ending a song on a one chord, try ending it on a six chord. It definitely won't feel finished. And we'll talk more about making chords from scale steps in the weeks to come.